Today, I want to tell you about macromolecular crowding and how it affects the function of the cell. The cell contains objects of a huge range of sizes. In fact, if a protein were the size of a pea, then the nucleus would be the size of an ocean liner. There are some estimates that up to 40% of the mammalian cell volume is occupied by macromolecules. Now, this may not sound like a lot, but if we were to fill 40% of a mason jar's volume with marbles, the top of the marbles would actually be at about 60% of the jar's height. And if we were to fill the mason jar all the way with marbles, we would only fill about 64% of the jar's volume. If we wanted, we could even pour sand into our mason jar to occupy the space around the marbles. This would be a good example of how differently sized objects actually exist within your cells. So, if we imagine two transcription factors, one small in size and one larger, in a non-crowded environment, they should have no trouble finding their DNA target sequences and turning on their genes. However, in a more crowded environment, a larger transcription factor will have significantly more trouble diffusing to its target. But just how crowded is the cell? And does this crowding have physiological consequences in cell behavior? We hope to study the nature of diffusion within the cell by using fluorescent proteins of different sizes. We can then observe how these particles move using fluorescence microscopy and particle tracking algorithms. We increase crowding by decreasing volume while keeping the number of macromolecules the same. So far, we see that when crowding increases, the movement of these tagged particles slows. Additionally, we can make conclusions about the nature of the cytoplasm itself, such as the fact that this material has both elastic and viscous behaviors. One example of when cells may become more crowded is when they are mechanically compressed, for example, in a tumor. This process may lead to changes in reaction rates and gene expression. Remember our two transcription factors? For more information, see Morgan's talk on cancer, pressure, and cells. Thank you for listening.